to say afternoon actually, it was a bit late when I set off. No oh shit corner today folks. I headed out the other end of the estate and filled up with petrol because it's the warmest day of the year so far. So let's go for a decent ride out somewhere, possibly Wales. As you can see, the camera is still tilted over to the right. I have a feeling I'm going to be sorting this out later on during the day. Watch this space. That's what we're looking for. More pre-digital fuel pumps. So let's park up and do the old photograph thing. Right, next stop I believe will be Newport. Uh, new town, idiot. That looks like the place over the road. Now if we can just wiggle the bike into a suitable position and then we'll do the old photograph thing once again. While going down here, I thought I'm going to double check the lens on this camera. I know I did check the lens, but it might have been on the other camera. So let's stop and have a good look at the camera. Well, would you look at that? The lens wasn't set vertical, it was canted over a little bit. So let's put that right and see how things look. That's more like it. The horizon is actually horizontal again. So I do apologise for the uh, previous cock-ups, but the camera's doing what it's supposed to. Put it down to user error, shall we? Now there's 120 mile on the clock since I last filled up and the sat nav is saying it's 27 miles to my next destination and there's no petrol stations in between. So I think the best thing to do is fill up now. I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere and find I've got no petrol. Now it took 1.71 gallon to fill the tank up and there's 120 mile on the clock. So by my reckoning, it means the drifter's doing 70 mile to the gallon. Which for an 800 V-twin, that's done a few mile down the motorway today, I don't think that's too bad at all. I can live with that. Ah, a group of Royal Enfields, by the look of it. Ah, they've got a nice day for it. Certainly not a lot of traffic about, really. Whoops, a van. He went a bit wide on that corner. Never mind, mate. You missed me. And it's off the A44 into the unclassified roads that lead up into the hills. Generally in the direction of Devil's Bridge by the look of it. Well I was right, it did come out of Devil's Bridge. And the Two Hoots Tea Room. Although it's not a scheduled stop, I thought I might as well pull in here and have a cuppa. Because it's late afternoon, so I've had nothing to eat yet. Well, this is a good enough chance to have a sit down, a cuppa, 
a ham and cheese sandwich and watch the world for 10 minutes. Right, time to make a move. One of the new BSA Gold Stars parked next to me there. And very jolly it looks too. Right, I'll spy the place I'm looking for. But you best turn around safely, I think. It is an S bend on a narrow bridge. We'll let Postman Pat get out of the way. Right, time to park up and do the photograph thing once again. Right, all being well, the next stop should be Ryada. And you've guessed it, another couple of fuel pumps. And here we are at Kamistwith on the Aberystwyth Mountain Road, which is always a road worth riding in my opinion. Okay, so it's not the fastest of roads, but it's certainly one of the prettiest. And we just follow the stream uphill for a bit. And then eventually it'll level out as you head towards the Eel and Valley Dams. Here we are, the next destination, another couple of old petrol pumps, actually if I pull forward a bit I can get both of them in the same shot, yeah I think that'll be an idea. That's more like it. Let's go and do the photograph thing again. One more fuel pump to capture and it does happen to be on the way home so that's all to my advantage. This one was only two or three mile up the road from Ryada so we'll pull up. Now the number of times I've been past here in the past and I've never noticed these fuel pumps. speed bumps. Always a fair few of them on this road. I 
once again they don't seem too phased by the traffic so we should be alright big string of adventure trailer type bikes all with a identification number on the front maybe some kind of off-roading school I don't know there's certainly a few of them one of them all told just for a change of come back by Shobden and once again past the aerials at Wooferton I was past these the other day but going in the other direction you can see a few of the ground mounted dishes there And a bit of train spotting, how about that? There we go, the drifter goes over the top of the train. And on to the Kiddyminster Road at Newnham Bridge. At least at this time of day, the traffic isn't too bad on the M5. I dare say it'll all start slowing down once we approach Junction 2. Now the sign 600 yards back telling you the outside lane is closed. So people have got plenty of time to get in line. This bloke in the red car thinks, no, I'm going to go all the way there, then cut in front of this motorcycle. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, you're bloody well not. Now shift it. All of a sudden he's flashing his lights and hitting the horn, which tells me he wants to go through the rest of these roadworks at about 12 mile an hour. And that's what happened. So he didn't really get that far in front, and instead of being a few minutes earlier, he's going to be a good 10 minutes late. What a shame. And it's under the motorway and around Oshit Corner. A cracking day, excellent weather, some 244 mile on the clock. That'll do for me. See you later.